Francois de Vrain is Chief Executive Officer of SCORE Global Investments. Welcome to the Berenberg European Conference here at Penny Hill Park. Mm -hmm. The SCORE group of companies is a very different beast to the one it was 10 years ago. Talk me through the changes in the makeup and, and risk strategy over that decade. Indeed, uh, you are totally right. Uh, many changes occurred since 2003. And for me, it seems that the group of uh, 2003 uh, we just uh, keep the name, SCORE, and many changes uh, occurred since. Uh, let me give you a few uh, examples. The first one is the uh, um, management team. The entire management changed since 2002. The team is very international today and global. Executive members are located in Paris, in Zurich, in Cologne, and in New York. The first big difference compared to uh, the previous uh, time is the fact that the group today is fully, uh, is fully global. So we operate everywhere in the world. We underwrite less than 10% of our business in France, and we massively redeploy the group uh, in Europe, in the US, and in emerging market. Now, despite rating agency upgrades, you do remain below the financial strength of some of your reinsurance peers. Is that an issue for you? It's not an issue. Rating is not an issue today uh, for us. Uh, as you may know, uh, we have been upgraded by all the four rating agencies last year at A+, and we were uh, put uh, on positive outlook by S&P uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, so it's no longer a uh, concern for us. And since uh, our new strategic plan published early September, uh, we no longer focus on rating, but on solvency as defined by our internal model and we uh, optimize the capital thanks to the internal model today uh, and we have just one objective of maintaining our solvency in the optimal range today. Is that what differentiates you in, in the reinsurance market? Yes, that's really uh, innovative. Uh, we have a strong process in place and what is new is that uh, with the definition of this uh, optimal band for the solvency uh, ratio of the group, we define uh, capital uh, management policy because when uh, the solvency is below the optimal range it could be detrimental to our clients. We don't provide the level of solvency of security they would like to, uh, to be provided and where we are above the uh, optimal band we uh, don't underwrite profitable business. We have enough uh, excessive capital in the group. What do you think the longer term growth opportunities are in the reinsurance space? In our uh, strategic plan, uh, Optimal Dynamics, that we published early September, we set only two simple objectives, one linked to profitability and one linked to uh, solvency. So we want to provide a return on equity above 1,000 basis points over the risk-free rate uh, in terms of profitability, and we want to be uh, uh, in the optimal band of 185%, 220% uh, for the solvency uh, ratio. So which means we don't have a gross uh, objective in the plan. Having said this, uh, we do believe that those two simple targets are compatible with a profitable growth over the next three years of 7% per annum for the group. This will be split uh, for the PNC division for a growth rate of 8.5%, of which 5% are linked to the book, the reinsurance book, and 3.5% are linked to uh, initiatives that we've got on the Lloyd uh, syndicate market, on uh, re-entering the US casualty market, and expanding our corporate solution uh, division. On the life side, we anticipate a growth rate per annum of 6% over the next three years, mainly by redeploying our business in emerging markets, developing and extending our longe longevity business, and by also expanding our financial solution business. Thank you for your time and thank you very much here at Penny Hill Park.